Okay, so the psi matrix is just the matrix we get from three e to the three lambda t times one one and e to the negative lambda t times one one. Okay? Which means, of course, e to the three lambda t e to the three lambda t, right? And just to keep the it's a matrix e to the negative lambda t e to the negative lambda t okay. and by the definition of what this means this is just the matrix e to the 3 lambda t e to the 3 lambda t e to the negative lambda t e to the negative lambda t okay and this is using the fact that the y1 y2 matrix where y1 and y2 are column vectors, which is what these are. This sign should be the same. Like you have two positives on the left, two negatives on the right. It's a matrix having y1 and y2 as columns. This isn't quite a definition because I didn't have room to write that y1 had better be the first column and y2 the second column. That's implicit and obvious. I think there's a sign missing. You had a negative yeah, one. Yeah, you're right. There. There's a negative one here and this should be negative. This should be negative. Okay. So, there's your sign matrix. Now, one big deal about the sign matrix Psi itself is a solution. So, psi prime equals a psi. And I'm going to ask you to take a minute or two and verify that.